Hello YouTube, this is um, RedLink27. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I'll try to upload a few more now because uh, school just ended yesterday, so um, probably get a few up. Now, um, today, 16 years ago today, Windows 98 was released. Um, so I just decided to upload a little video on a, a little trick in, that you can do in Windows 98 and Windows 95. Um, I know it probably doesn't mean much in this day and age, but, you know, it's there. So I'm just like turn it on. Sorry, it's gonna take a little, a little while to uh, boot up because it's an actual computer. I mean, it's the, uh, like an actual PC, this isn't virtual PC. This computer doesn't have any speakers, so you, uh, won't be able to... Well, that isn't good. Alright, sorry about that. There was a little, um, issue there. Hopefully that's been resolved. All I did was restart the computer, though, so, um... I don't know. Uh, it said that I had an invalid system disk, so if this computer is actually frigged, I don't know why it would be. But if it was, then uh, I do have a another Windows 98 machine that I could use. So yeah, it's never comforting when you see a uh, valid system disk. There we go. Okay, I have no idea what happened that one time. That actually really freaked me out. There, the last time I mean, but. Here we go, so I'm um, just going to type in my password, because, yeah, I know, it's Windows 98, having a password protected is kind of useless, especially since this computer isn't hooked up to the internet, but, uh, yeah. Oh, and, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that, whatever, January 1999. I know, uh, the background is for Windows, uh, God, Windows 2000. Well, it was. For a second. Now it's a Windows 98 background. Anyway, uh, getting to the point here. Um, let me go to settings control panel. Now, uh, the reason I'm uploading this video is. Let's say you got an old computer running Windows 98 or Windows 95, or you downloaded the um, install for those operating systems for Virtual PC, and, you know, it has some other guy's name, it's registered to some other guy, and you really don't want that there, like, um, as you can see, I changed the uh, registered owner to me, it used to be registered to, I don't know, it just said computer. Um, so I changed that now. I didn't think this was possible, but there is actually a way to change who the computer's registered registered to. Yeah. So you just want to hit OK. Get out of there. Then um run regedit. I just hit the, the start key and R for run and then just type in regedit and you can get here. Now you want to go to H key underscore local underscore machine. Uh, then I believe it's software, Microsoft, and scroll down to where it says Windows, then current version, and here you have all your information. So you can uh, go and change it. Where is it here? Uh, ah, here. Registered owner. Let me zoom in on that. You can see that, right? Register donor. That'd be me. So, let me zoom out. Okay. 
So now what you do is you just right click registered owner, modify, and there you can go, <laughs> there you go and you can change it from there. So say I want to type in red link 27, uh, then I just hit OK. I'll minimize that because I'm going to change it back in a second. Uh, go to start, uh, da, 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 control panel, system, and there you go. Registered to Redlink 27. Now, of course, you know, an operating system this old, I'm sure only like 2%, not like 1% of people with computers are still running Windows 98. So, uh, you know, it's a 16 year old operating system. Uh, I would not recommend using it online because, you know, viruses and, yeah, computer viruses, uh, this OS gets. Uh, infected by them very easily, especially if you don't have any antivirus software like this computer doesn't have any. So uh, yeah, I mostly use this just for nostalgia, I guess, because I like Windows 98. By uh, my favorite operating system of all time, personally. Um, anyway, though, happy 16th birthday, Windows 98, and um, I hope you guys have a good one.